What is up? You are watching another episode of the Lax Factor Film Review. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at shooting, more specifically shooting from outside, shooting with time and room, shooting with your hands free, spot shooting, step down shooting. We're going to talk a lot and watch a lot of videos about shooting. Let's go. So in this first one, it's going to be a time and room shot, really a, a, an excellent spot shot by Brian Costabile, one of the best middies in the country. You're going to see just a man up play. So right here, he knows he he's already kind of spotted this out, I believe. He knows, boom, he's given this up and he's just waiting up here now to get this pass back because what he is going to do is, is this defender just kind of shades in here. He is already going to be ready, step into the shot and let it rip. We'll see it from a crappy angle first. Steps into it. Oh, stings it right away. He was ready to shoot immediately. So this is really kind of a, a step down case of, holy crap, I can't believe I'm this wide open from Walker. So we're going to see, uh, We you can see already, boom, three guys here. That's bad. So the ball's going to come here. Nobody's over here. So Walker's going to receive the pass in here and just step down and let this rip. Let's watch it. He's like, oh, no one's breaking down on me. Gets his hands free and lets it rip. We'll see it from a better angle here. Gets into his shooting motion. He kind of lets this defender break down on him, and then he's going to wrap it off of this defender and, and sting it opposite side. So you see his shot placement was about three quarters underhand, but he's going to bring it to the opposite side goal. Almost might go five hole on the keep. Now it looks like it was off hip. Here's going to be a mix of uh, kind of finding a good spot, realizing no one's coming, and then and getting yourself ready to shoot. But what we'll see here as this play transpires is Dordovic come in, and you see Rafus as the, as the crease guy comes in. Both of these guys check him a little bit too much, and Rafus is going to back out of this. He should have been ready to shoot. He, does, he doesn't realize, though, that this man or this man didn't come with him. So by the time he catches it, he realizes it there. Oh, steps up and shoots. You'll see it from a better angle here. Here comes the feed already. Doesn't realize until he turns his head right there that he's that wide open. You're going to see here he's going to, to a degree, try to use this guy as a screen. He's going to release this wide sidearm, and he's going to sting it down low here on the keeper. Beautiful shot. And we're going to see this now, and we're going to see this towards the end also. But here is an example. Cornell, all day against Maryland when they played them in the tournament, they'd, they'd alley dodge down here with Fletcher, and Doyak would fill the space out top. And you're going to see that here, and Doyak just realizes no one's stepping in, and he's going to wrap it right off his defender. No one's on his hands. He's like, holy crap, I can't believe you're not going to guard me. Gets into a shooting motion to a degree using his defender as a screen. And you're going to see him sting this about three quarters sidearm down into this area here, stick side off hip. Beautiful. Get a different look at it here. See the shooting motion though. And you'll see how he gets his feet squared shoulders, shoulders and feet squared up to the cage, puts everything he has into it. Great shot. In this example, we're going to see, Kraus kind of sneak up a little bit more and there's going to be these three defenders on this line and they're going to crash with these two attackmen here. So all three defenders are going to come down and you're going to see we're going to have some uh, Aiken. Doc's Aiken's going to fill this spot in here and light this one up. Got a little messy there. See, wide open. Steps down. It's kind of a double step down. They gave him enough time to take two steps down the field. One, two. Let it rip, my friend. Here's going to be another double step down. What we're going to see here is Mar bring uh, himself in here. He's going to draw this pole. The help does not come from where it's supposed to come, whether it was coming from up here or there. They should have gotten in here and filled this. He's not going to be ready when he catches it, but he'll get ready real quick, and it's another double step down. He realizes he has time uh, to, to get himself square and get a really good shot off, and he gets a really good shot off. Beautiful shot. Now, Kyle Marr's great at this. What we're going to see, Kyle Marr, you can already see he's already ready, and he's already getting ready to get his feet square. The ball's going to kick over here. They're going to bring it up a little bit, and these defenders, once again, are going to crash a little too far, leaving Marr kind of open in this little zone in here where he likes to get. A lot of people like to get down in the zone. We'll see Ethan Walker do that a little bit later. 
Bangs it over the top. Mar has already received this pass with soft hands, getting into a shooting motion, letting it rip, changing elevation. We'll get a much better angle of it. Celebrate. So you see here, catches it, already trying to get his feet square. You're going to see him get his feet square. He's going to shoot this underhand. And you're going to see the elevation of this shot, uh, the release down here, but he's going to bring the shot up and it's going to sting the corner. Look at that. Look at that. Ridiculous. But that's that's how you change elevation. But but watching his shooting motion, you can watch Kyle Marr when he does this kind of spot shooting. He's insanely quick at receiving a pass and getting ready to shoot even where he doesn't already have his feet square. So watch as much Kyle Marr tape as you can. We'll watch this one because it's a perfect view of a screen. You know how to kind of work a screen with your defender. It, this was, The game was over at this point, so Trimboli didn't really want to shoot this. But what you'll see happen here... His defender's not on him. Now, what he does is he can, he waits. He's going to let his defender break down on him to the point that he's going to be perfectly covered, and he's going to wrap this shot off that defender's shoulder and stick it stick side high uh, in the corner. But you see he waits, and now the defender actually comes to a better spot, and you can see even the goalie's head now is kind of turned sideways a little bit because he can't see around the defender. And you see Tromboli release it around the defender. So as far as the goalie, I mean, it, it's almost as if the defender just kind of craps a ball out of his hip here. And you're going to see this ball all of a sudden is just flying off this defender's hip and is going to sting that corner. Nothing he could do. So watch it from this angle here. You'll see he waits, waits, waits. Now he's going to step into it, release. He's going to wrap it off that defender. That goalie does not even see Tromboli's stick come through here. And the next thing you know, it's goal. All right, what we're going to see here is uh, Ethan Walker get open in some space out top again. Ball's going to come up the left side. So as we see a lot, when, when attackmen attack this way, and especially when they do a good job and draw slides, defenders will crash to the crease. You want to find that soft spot out here. That's what happens. He's going to turn, and once again, he's using that defender as a screen. This defender's breaking down as he's supposed to on Walker's stick, but Walker's just going to get this right around him and wrap this right off of the defender's hip, and the goalie doesn't really see it leave his stick. It's just like a ghost. Couldn't see it. Stick side and everything couldn't see it. On uh, this one, we're going to see Denver. bring. They're kind of just wheeling this up, so they're going to bang this back and then reverse it. And then the result is going to be guys totally out of position. One guy's got to break down on ball. This guy's got to get across to the crease. So this is going to leave Walker once again in this soft spot. And he's going to step down. You're going to see him change elevation. Underhand shot. It's going to sting the upper corner. We'll get a better angle. But you want to find that soft space. Anytime the ball's reversed like that, finds the soft space. But watch the release is low. And it just goes up, boom, stings a corner. You love that as a player. As a player, you're going to watch that 250 times, 251 times, 300 times wouldn't be enough. All right, so we're going to see Teat bringing the ball up here. And as I keep saying, when attackmen are behind and we see slides start coming, which is what happened, they were automatically sliding, you're going to start seeing soft spots out top behind the defense as they crash the crease to try to cover. Beautiful pass by Teat. You can see he's already receiving it softly, turning his hips, changes elevation. We'll see it from the backside here. Beautiful. Three quarters, pretty much a three quarter overhand. And he, the ball releases about here, stings a corner down there. Beautiful shot. We're going to see a lot more of this this year in 2019. Bernhardt with the ball down here. And we're going to see him ding this over the top to Bubba Fairman. And once again, ball is an attackman's coming in here. Uh, you, you end up just finding that soft zone out here somewhere. And you see Fairman's got a stick up, hips already set, receives it. And like I said, try to wrap it off the defender. The defender broke down properly on ball or on stick, but is going to let Fairman wrap this around and Fairman's going to bury this down here. Changes elevations. Oh, nope, buried it the other side. Here's another example of how an alley dodge draws the slide. As soon as you draw the slide, you always want to reverse the ball. So he's going to immediately, we call this the bang back. He's going to turn around, avoid the slide, and then bang the ball back. We're going to see the midi get open really close, receives it, gets ready in a shooting motion. He's going to release the ball low, 
See his low release down here. Stings it high. We'll see it, but from a we'll see it from a better angle here. But you see, as the slide's trying to recover, they don't get here to cover the guy stepping down. Steps down, low release, dings the corner. And this is an example of just how deadly Fletcher is. We're going to see a couple of these, but Marilyn paid Fletcher so much attention as he was dodging down the alley. He's going to bring the ball in here, and then you're going to see Doiak. The slides already they're already kind of half sliding. So you see Doiak's guy thinking he's going to have to come back up this defender that looked like he was about to help receives that realizes his hands are free beautiful shot we'll see this again hands free kind of takes a sidearm and but elevates it up towards the goalie's head can't stop that you'll see a trend developing here we're going to have uh, Fletcher dodging again down the alley Sees it immediately. The help automatically comes, and it was a real half-ass slide, and the 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 follow-up doesn't come. So Doiak finds himself in that spot out top in in space with no help, hands free. Wraps a beautiful shot too. And the last one, real simple. There you go. Slide is drawn. So this attackman now is going to be able to flip it up here and find a two-on-one with the midi. There's your two on one. So he comes in here. This attackman forces this defender to be the help. What really should have happened is this pole should have started heading over here immediately. He didn't. You don't get much more open than that. We'll see it from a different angle. This is a beautiful angle. But look at how he steps down into this, releases it upper, you know, kind of almost three quarters, almost straight overhand, puts it down low. Goalie standing straight up. That's how little of a chance he had. You know that was a laser when the goalie's not even getting down on the ball. Beautiful shot. Celebrate.